Hello and welcome. We're going to give you a guide today on how to replace a volume spacer on an NA2 air shaft. The NA2 air system is new for 2016 and can be found in the 32, 34 and 40 fork. The colour of the volume spacer varies depending on what fork you have. The 40 uses a red volume spacer, the 34 uses a yellow volume spacer and the 32 uses a blue volume spacer. The tools you will require for this job will be a high pressure shock pump, a ratchet, a torque wrench and a chamferless 26mm socket. To start off, remove the blue anodized adjuster from the fork. Before carrying out this job, make a note of what pressure your fork is at so you can go back to that pressure once the job's completed. Once the top cap has been removed, take the pressure from the fork. With the pressure out of the fork, you are now ready to remove the top cap. The 32 and 34 uses a 26mm chamferless socket. The 40 uses a 32mm chamferless socket. You do not have to take the fork off the bike for this procedure. Best way to remove the top cap is to have your hand on the crown and your thumb over the top of the ratchet. Bring the fork into your chest and as you look at the fork, turn it anti-clockwise. The amount of volume spacers fitted in your fork will vary from chassis and travel. If you visit risefox.com, you can find out the specifications for your fork. To remove a volume spacer, so let me pinch the tabs and slide off. And to add a volume spacer, all you need to do is to click it into place. When you have chosen your amount of volume spacers, lightly grease it and drop them back into your fork. You'll be able to tighten it by hand so far. With your top cap hand tight, use your torque wrench set to 220 inch pounds or 24.8 newton meters. Holding the crown with your hand and your thumb over your ratchet. Bring the fork into your chest and torque up. Pump your fork back up to the original pressure. Once you have done this, set your sag. Depending on if you've removed or added volume spacers, you'll feel the characteristics of your fork change. Once you've added your pressure and set up your sag, the job is now complete.